Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters and the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another episode on books. Well, you all know how much I love books at this point. We're constantly talking about books. I read books every day of my life. Uh, so I'm just gonna update you real quick. Uh, on some new books here in the summer of 2023. Some uh, reissues, some uh, new titles, uh, some just new to Mad River Outfitters. And as always, you can find them at madriveroutfitters.com. So, and as always, we appreciate y'all being here. So just an update, uh, uh, a, a little while ago, I told you about John Gierak's new book, All the Time in the World. I finished it and it's awesome. Uh, I'm back in Gierak mode. And so um, I'm picking up a new copy of Even Brook Trout Get the Blues, and I will start to read this tonight. So I, I forget, I think he's got 23, it might be 103 books, at least 15, maybe 16, maybe more books out there. What a fantastic writer, and this just allows me to escape. I read a chapter or two every night before I go to bed, and uh, it just, man, it just inspires me. Uh, to want to fish more, it inspires me to uh, want to be a better angler, and it makes me laugh. Uh, what, a, what a great guy. Um, I've had the pleasure of meeting him once at the Fly Tackle Dealer Show. I invited him to come to Mad River Outfitters and, you know, do a program or book signing for our folks. And, and he said, no, I don't do stuff like that. And I said, oh, yeah, what, how come? And he says, because I don't have to. <laughs> so, Okay. So anyway, John, we appreciate you. Lefty Craze, Fly Fishing in Saltwater has been reissued. It's back out and now the third edition. So it has been updated and it even features a new forward by our great friend, Blaine Chocolate. Quite frankly, the industry had a hole in it while this book was gone. I'm so excited it's back. It's available in hardcover, not outrageously expensive. And as many folks will tell you, it is the Saline Bible, which provides the lowdown on technique and species behavior. So super excited, glad that's back in print. Also another one back in print. A few years ago, we told you about Dave and Emily Whitlock. Um, beautiful, beautiful book. I mean, a coffee table quality book, but also just filled with information on fishing and fly patterns. And it is just full of Dave's beautiful artwork. Um, but uh, it's called Artful Profiles of Trout, Char, and Salmon. It has come back out now again in paperback, and we just couldn't be more excited, especially since, as many of you know, we lost Dave on Thanksgiving of 2022. It makes this book even more special. Pocket Guide to Western Hatches and a Pocket Guide to Upper Midwest Hatches. These are also back, and we're super excited. If you want to learn about bugs and the flies that imitate the bugs, um, and, and just, and, and not, it's not just mayflies, caddisflies, and stoneflies either. This gets into, um, all kinds of different, different bugs. These books are absolutely fantastic. They're updated, revised, um, hardcover now. And just, if you're interested in fly fishing entomology and the bugs that fish eat, um, if you live in the Midwest, get this one. If you live in the West, if you fish both places, get them both. The Feather Thief. Not necessarily a fly fishing book, but kind of a, a mystery novel type thing, although based on a true story. Uh, we've just had so many people talking about this book and telling us uh, how great this book is that we brought it in. So it is now available at madriveroutfitters.com. Uh, we've kind of been lacking a book on largemouth bass. And Tim Jacobs, uh, Jacobs has come along with Tactics for Bass and Other Warm Water Species. Um, very good book. Uh, he's done a great job, a lot of great information in here, uh, uh, a good reference for warm water angling, so thanks Tim for doing that. Also one of my favorite authors, you've heard me talk about Rivers of Sand by our friend Josh Greenberg. He owns Gates Osable Lodge up on the Osable River in Michigan. Well, I believe this is his second book and it's called Trout Water, A Year on the Osable. And uh, I'm telling you, this guy, this guy has a bright future as an author. I mean, he's a great angler, a great guide, a great shop owner. Uh, and, and I just can't say enough about rivers of sand and I can't wait to jump in. I have not read it yet, but I'm sure it is exceptional. So Josh Greenberg, Trout Water. 
John Barr. John Barr, creator of some of the most legendary trout flies of all time. John has a new book called Out of the Box. And it's really all about thinking outside the box. He shows you a bunch of different fly patterns. He shows you some kind of new and simple techniques. And it's not just trout oriented either. He talks about some, uh, some warm water fishing as well. But it's unconventional fly fishing strategies, which of course we like, and winning combinations to catch more fish. How could you possibly go wrong? Um, so John Barr there. And then uh, also a friend of John Barr's, Landon Mayer. Landon is also a well-known author, guide, uh, fly tire designer. Landon has a new book called Guide Flies, and it's easy to tie patterns for tough trout. I had a look through this the other day. This is definitely going to wind up uh, in my library, and it's going to be on my fly tying bench because there's some really cool fly patterns in here. Um, and just... As, you've, as you'd always imagine from Landon Mayer, just full of great information um, and really simple to tie. You know, guide flies, when you hear somebody say guide flies, that's usually a fly that a guide can knock out a whole bunch in an evening before a guide trip, not have to spend a bunch of time. Uh, they're going to be inexpensive for the most part to tie. <clears throat> you know, he's really done a great job. Skip Morris says Landon Mayer really knows how to catch trout, often huge trout, that's true and applies that knowledge to the flies he ties and designs. So new one from Landon Mayer, thrilled to have that. And last but not least, I think I got them all. This is, this is the epitome of a coffee table book. It's called The Fly Tires Art. And I'm telling you that this is an amazing, amazing book. Uh, it's a great read, but if you open it up, it is just full of some of the most artful creations that you have ever seen. It's unbelievable the skill, the talent that some of these people put into their flies. And they that some of these flies are so realistic you can't even imagine that they're flies. And there's um, the story about each tire. I think there's 33, 33 world famous fly tires and they're re realistic flies. Um, so it, it it's an up-close look at the artists and their masterful craft by Tony Lolly and uh, Tom Rosemar. I'm going to have to put on the glasses for the... the... So our good friend Tom Rosenbauer says, Fly tying is an endlessly fascinating craft, folk, art, or whatever term you choose. I can't wait to see what the future brings. But for the moment, I'll delight in the photos of the example shown in this book by Tony Lolly and Alex Wilde, and we'll spend hours trying to determine exactly how they were made. Really, really neat book, coffee table quality. When this book came in, everybody in the shop, they said, well, that's going to be a top gift item. Uh, during the holidays. So when we get around to our 2023 holiday gift guides, I'm sure this will be in there because this is a beautiful, beautiful book. So the fly tires art. So there you have it, friends. That's uh, new books, 2023. Uh, we've got uh, some more book news on the way. We just did an interview with uh, one of my new favorite authors when we were down in Florida, and we're going to update you on that here shortly, so stay tuned. But as always, we appreciate you being here. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That really helps us out. Hit the like button. That makes us feel good. And thanks for being here. And remember, you can hop over to madriveroutfitters.com. As always, we appreciate your support. That helps us uh, and uh, enables us to continue to make more videos, which we love doing. Glad you're here, stay tuned, and then watch this video right here. Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig. Of course, I am super excited about the Flip Palette, Blaine Chocolate, and Brian Fleshig Fly Tying Fly Fishing Weekend. This will be held at Flip's house in Mims, Florida, as well as in the Renzetti factory in Titusville, Florida. Flip's gonna talk about some of his favorite flies. He's gonna show you some of his favorite bonefish flies. He's gonna tie uh, the famous Prince of Tides. Blaine's gonna do game changers, hybrid changers, jerk changers, game changer craws. I'm gonna debut a Flip inspired fly that I've come up with called the Flippin' Shrimp. Works on virtually any saltwater species. I'll show you a freshwater version. And the Flippin' Bonefish, which has just been destroying bonefish. So, Join us in Florida 
learn all kinds of cool stuff about fly tying and fly fishing.